Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marnice Nicole. I'm an acrylic painter and this is quite the journey on the part one of our video series where I am painting this piece right here and it's based off of this amazing orchestra like TikTok video that I saw. I saw this video and I was just immediately inspired and so of course taking that inspiration I immediately you know started painting hop right into the process only for it inevitably to get like stuck in the middle I have this problem all the time I don't know about you but like sometimes like that initial lighting of the fire to get something done just gets completely destroyed in the actual painting process so this is going to be like part one of struggling through getting this idea like together um and we'll hop right into you seeing how this process like develops how it starts the messy sketch which is the majority of this video um and then for part two we will actually get to where we are finally figuring it out getting it done getting it complete with the help of a few art books and some art inspiration along the way so you know i'm gonna let you hop right into the video that i will come to wrap this all up for part one and we'll be right back <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to start and get my sketch out. I have this idea from this inspiration that I got from TikTok, of course. And here's the video, in case you were interested. Well, that was lovely and I'm inspired. And so I'm making a painting based off of you. <laughs> I really, really loved your orchestra piece. I love the vibe. I I love the music and it made me want to paint something so I promise it's not going to be like this. <laughs> but normally I sketch in with dioxide purple but I am almost out so I need to order more of this so I guess today I'm going to sketch out an ultramarine blue which that color is not coming off but it's like a it's just a bluish deep colored purple and I like using these as like the base sketch instead of black so you can always go darker but eh, I don't know using black to sketch out it just it just gives a different mood to the piece so we're gonna start off with this color and I'm gonna try to finish this in like one painting session in not four months like last time so we'll see how far we get and here we have the initial messy sketch and guys this is the start of like figure drama like painting in this figure is just it changes so much but you guys will see so okay and so this is my figure just a basic just put in and um i have a reference photo because this is the tiktok that i saw um, but I want her to be facing, instead of looking directly at the orchestra, I want her to be facing more like pivot more outward so you can see more of her, of her body. So that means this arm should be finished here to connect here. And then this one should be out more before going up. And then all of this should be there. And then that means that her neck should be here and this face should be more there with more hair coming this way and less hair coming there. I think that's a better positioning for her and then maybe bring her shoulder up just a tad bit here on this end for her shoulder and then you can see a little bit of her, her back here. And then there. I think that's a better positioning. So we're doing some edits live. Um, but yeah, let's get back to painting. So at this point, I had the idea for the background because the figure was still just bothering me. And I'm like pulling inspiration right from an older piece of my, well, not that old, the opera painting piece that I'll show you guys in a minute. And I started adding in some shadow figures and making this like really a orchestra space like a full auditorium and I kind of like the idea and I'm gonna run with that 
But at this point, I really, really just was trying to distract myself from the actual problem, which was my, you know, complete focus on this figure. It was really bothering me so much. And so I focused on the background, but that ended up being very successful. I really liked the first stages of this background and I don't paint or focus on backgrounds enough in my work. I usually focus on the figure and kind of add in the background as an afterthought. But this session right here really made me just come to mind that working on the background is really working on the whole piece. And those two things don't have to always be so separate. So there's one lesson learned from this messy sketch process. But yes, at this point, it's still very messy, even though I'm still figuring out the ideas and they're kind of getting finalized in my head. Like I kind of see the scene. Um, but yeah, the figure is what is mostly making this painting like a fail for me for the majority of this process and so <laughs> this why ends up being abandoned but we're gonna work through it some more okay it's coming along pretty nice like i'm really loving the vibe we have like a kind of audience theater going up to the exit a little bit of lighting because of course i always love to add lighting and then we have some shadow audience members because if you remember from my black opera painting this one here i love shadow figures in the background i think it gives it a little something extra without me personally having to do individual people every single where so i like that and for a base layer i think we're pretty good so i'm loving this painting so far and i will update you guys soon hey guys uh, we are back after a couple of days and this is where we left off um, I got a little sick <laughs> and I'm still recovering but I'm finally feeling a little better after like a week of just being out for the count and I really want to paint um, so I'm gonna work on this a little bit and then um, we will see where we land tonight and then we'll check back in with some actual updates when I don't sound like this I will say that despite being sick, this is my favorite like stage of the painting. I really love this hot pink that I'm putting in there, this quinacridone pink. I need to use that color more. Just a little side note to myself. Guys, so I literally, I only made it 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm still sick, but I think I did for 30 minutes of work. I think I did pretty good. I got it a lot of the background layers and the color story that I was really interested in um, and let me bring you a little closer and so with you a little closer um, <laughs> this this is still a problem I need to work on my positioning because what I want her to do is to be doing this with her hands like out but she does seem very giantesque around the the surrounding audience um so i just need to i need to fix the proportions but i have a headache and this whole situation going on right now so we're gonna worry about it later what we're gonna think about now is that we successfully added in more of the background and just for fun for this exit sign which is really important to the concept it's not a throwaway detail it's very important but to this exit sign, I want it to be neon green. And it's going to be the only green here. Like, it's going to be the only green. And more neon green than this green in my glasses. Actually, maybe I'll do yellow. So this actually ended up being the final stage of me working on this piece before it became abandoned. I was getting so tripped up in this figure that I just couldn't work on it anymore. And... <sighs> the over painting it was starting and I could tell. And so shortly after this, I did abandon the painting for about two months, a month and a half to two months. But luckily I actually got some new art inspiration and I have continued this piece. And so there is a part two that we're gonna talk about right now. Okay, so you just saw like abrupt ending of my painting session. That was the last painting session I did on this for about one, two months. It just kind of sat in a corner and it got abandoned. And the only reason why I like actually went back to this piece is because I took some time to just be like, what do I like about this painting? 
why do I want to finish this painting? What was the original inspiration? And I found that I was just getting really, really stuck on the figure. It took this painting process to realize like, this is not a photorealistic painting. It's inspired by this orchestra set and this piece and the movement that was in the TikTok. And it doesn't have to be an exact replica. It's actually not an exact replica. There's so many different elements and I really made the inspiration its own thing. Like there's magic floating sheet music. <laughs> that definitely wasn't in the original TikTok, you know? And so I need to work on not getting so focused on the figure that I lose the original inspiration and like go AWOL. Um, I need to work on that. I definitely need to work on actually painting figures. So maybe that will be the next few videos. But either way, we are finishing this painting. We actually move past the stuckness of this painting in part two. Um, basically, I bought a bunch of art books and they helped inspire me. And that's one of the great things about art books and online resources and just painting and art and life. You can find inspiration from so many places so that when you are stuck and when you are in these like, I can't paint little moments, you can find things to push you out of it. And it just so happened that an art book did that for me. I got to play with color palettes and hair and this painting is still not actually finished. <laughs> uh, we're gonna work on it a little bit more, but even from the last scene to this like photo behind me, you can see that there has been a lot of development and I use that art book just to guide my mind and put some ease there. And now we have this and so and I hope you enjoyed this kind of messy art process which again is being more and more my process this year we we're figuring it out slowly on how to break those cycles but you know we are where we are and I hope it's been fun to watch regardless so my name is Marnice Nicole I'm an acrylic painter and I am out see you in part two